What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. Um, I got the number one weekly winner again, so that puts me at only one more week at number one to get the Minecraft key. So hopefully I can get that. And I'm playing on my second account because I want to play ranked, but not really much of a point playing if you're already number one. So I'll use this account. And I'll shake it up. I will play Gravelox again because that seems like what's been like beating everything for me. I've been beating every, all kinds of decks with this deck. Uh, to have been number one for the past few weeks. But I just want to try something new. I'm a second account, so I don't really mind if I lose much rating. But what I'm going to try to do is Splash Growth. Now, this isn't going to be like the normal Growth Splash that sometimes Gravelock has with like Gravehawk that can get like monstrous with a. Uh, with um with grave locks or like putting in like a memorial to get me into growth i'm just gonna have one ragged wolf that's it one ragged wolf and uh the reason for that is i kind of want to be able to use the grave lock outcast ability i'm sure you all know grave lock outcast is the ability where if you pay one growth he gets healed to full health and in case you did not know you cannot sacrifice for a resource that you don't have any scrolls of in the deck. So without this Ragged Wolf, I could not sacrifice a growth. I found myself playing the other day. I had a Gravelock outcast and I realized, oh, this is perfect. I'm just gonna sacrifice for growth and heal it. But then I realized I couldn't sacrifice for growth. So here's the trade off I'm making. I'm basically playing with a 49 scroll deck to give three scrolls in the deck an added ability. And also that added ability is very expensive because I have to like go into a whole nother resource to do it and sacrifice a card. So, it's, But I've seen his uh, ability be really uh, tough. Uh, like for example, when I was playing a match um, a week or two ago, I was facing down a Gravelock Outcast, I was growth. He put po the, my opponent put Potion of Resistance on a Gravelock Outcast in the front row. I just couldn't bash in and then out of the blue, he just sacrifices for growth, so he must have had some kind of growth scroll in the deck, and then just heals it up. So I could, so there's just a constantly healing potion of resistance outcast in the front. It was just terrible. So honestly, I don't think, um, I don't think giving three grave lock outcasts a really expensive ability is uh, worth having a 49 scroll deck. I mean, this isn't a total dead draw. I mean, maybe he can be useful. <laughs> It could be, if I go like a Ragged Wolf match, it could be like a surprise. But, yeah, I'm going to try that. And I'm going to take out, I don't know what I'll take out. I guess I could take out, do we really need all these Iron Whips? Um, I'll go ahead and discard one of the Power Trips. So I'm going to name this one... Uh, heal. So this is just, I just want to see if this maybe will help me. Honestly, we're probably going to get a match and I'm probably not even going to have a chance to use the healing aspect. So it probably won't even matter. But whatever. So good luck, have fun, Istrion. And not the perfect starting hand, but I don't have like that nice two drop. But uh, it's good enough because I can go with one drop and then I have a burn on turn four, which is amazing. So next turn I'll probably have a dead turn, but he can't really put anything on the board right now or I can move towards it. So he did not put anything on the board. I have to keep that Elder, so I'll get rid of the Valence Dispersal. I want to keep my curve up. One thing, a little annoying now that there's a Growth Scroll in the deck. There's this Ox on here, so I have to make sure I don't ac accidentally click on it. And next turn I'll probably play the Snarl Omelette. Maybe we'll see an Outcast. So... We'll see what he has. He has a spark, so unfortunately, that happened. Not a huge deal. Now I could power trip into Greylock Elder, but I don't think that is really a a great play. I think I'd rather just play the Snarl on it. Play it in the back here. I won't use his protection. He'll just be there until it dies and might get me some scrolls. So now hopefully uh, Istrion plays something with three or less health. Storm Runner, Cannonetta. Outcast, okay. Canada, that's perfect for a burn. Unfortunately, I'll have to sacrifice one of these awesome grave locks here. I'll get rid of the freak. 
stay in the curb with the elder elder and um of course keeping the elder is amazing because elder makes grave locks so good um so unfortunately i don't have one extra resource so i i'm not gonna be able to play the elder and use the snorkel at the same time okay he has an echo maton so that thing is likely gonna be able to bash my face in or i could go with a iron whip I mean, uh, here, I'm just going to play the Elder right here, unless it happens. Hopefully, Istrion does not doesn't draw his violent dispersals, because if I can keep those guys alive, that will be amazing for me. He's going for resources. What is he going to do? Play an Elder of his own? A Solemn Giant. Okay. So, let's see. I don't know what I would want to draw here. I don't really have. It's not possible for me to play Avant Dispersal this turn. And I think the best thing for me to just do is just ramp up, play the Copper Auto. I mean, he could, like, uh, pay, uh, make this guy attack to get this uh, Copper Auto to die, but I don't really mind that. It means he doesn't have another play. And then I'll do this as well. And Grivlock Freak is really awesome, but I think it's just better if I could play a creature this turn keep my tempo going I think that's gonna be important so I've already gotten rid of two Gravelock Freaks um Gravelock Freak probably the second best Gravelock in my opinion third best is probably the this is the best then probably the Freak and then the Guard with his cool pillage effect alright so he uses whole turn just to get rid of a Copper Auto and so on I am completely fine with that and this guy still has only one attack and I can just use the another turn for for paying energy and getting more grave locks and I could go with the raider here and keep pumping but I think I'd rather just have a strong creature because the raider could get burned it's in burn range against energy and I'm gonna let him just take out the snorkel omelette at this point it's done a nice job I'll put you right there and I'll just I'll just take the middle of the board and we'll see if he wants to pump down his giant to destroy that if he does, he'd likely want to have another play. So that's a little problem with the Tom Giants in the early to mid game. If they're just, they're really just a hasted ten, uh, a hasted ten drop. Okay, there's the first bounce dispersal. That's unfortunate, but at least I'm gonna be have another turn of using the Snarl Omelet. And this guy still haven't played a spell for that guy to use. Okay, and this time we can finally get a freak out. Uh, I like I actually like my freaks in the middle. Gets energy, it doesn't really matter for the three drop in front because there's no veterans that are coming at you. They could have come with burn, so now he can burn me. I guess this whole time he could have burned that uh omelet down there. But we're ramping up. We already have uh, we can actually get extra resources from you next turn. Okay, so he is gonna pump this and this is going to die. So that's a little unfortunate because I would have I was going to have a lot of resources from this Uhu next turn. And post resistance on you. Not a huge deal. I could Fury, that wouldn't accomplish much. I wish I had the Fury now. And... I am going to... See, I could put a Copper Ottomans on down. But then... I'm just going to hit Middle Idol here. I'm just going to do nothing else. I'm not scared of anything you could do this to me this turn. Unfortunately, I didn't. I wasn't able to top to click another elder or some grave locks to play. Maybe that's what I get for using that omelet. Suck a lot of grave locks out of my deck. So he does move up. A dust runner. What does he have? Bombard and a pump. Okay. So, I guess I guess that's a thing. I don't think that's a huge deal though. So I can't kill you. I, I'll just I just won't raise your attack. I guess. Um, I think the thunder surge is actually going to be pretty useful. So I'm I'm also going to keep the copper automaton. Two copper automatons. Hmm. You see, maybe this hurt me here by having the ragged wolf in the deck. That's uh, this scroll could have been like an elder that I could use right now. You know what? I 
Let's make sure this freaking thing dies. <laughs> I don't really like playing two scrolls like that to, to that thing. But, you know. If he displays a potion of resistance now, I'm going to be really upset. Things that hurt me a lot here are machinated. Okay, so does he have another burn or another spark? Machinated would hurt because then this guy would get Hall's attack that I couldn't really do much and it would take out my freak. Machinated is the worst thing that could happen. Second worst thing is like another burn on this thing. Spark is also pretty bad. I guess he couldn't have burned enough resources. Okay. And this is a Thunder Surge turn. I could actually. I could actually board clear with the Ragged Wolf. No, I could use, just use the Iron Whip. Yeah, I was going to say, we could use the Ragged Wolf to get rid of everything. But, we have an Iron Whip to do the same thing. So let's go for some scrolls. Um, I guess I'll just. I, let's go to Elder Outcast, is very good. So I'll do the Thunder Surge. That takes them out. And then you have extra attack anyway, so I'll just take you out now. And kaboom, that's a board clear. Next turn I can follow up with an Elder Outcast. That was a very good Thunder Surge. He could have played around that if he just moved his like a uh, didn't like clump up like that in that like snake formation. Okay, there's post resistance on that, so I just I don't really I won't really pay attention to that right now. I could just keep attacking it. I don't know. I'll get rid of the Fury. And. I could go Brood Outcast. I can go Elder Outcast. I kind of want to get the Brood out because I'll just keep attacking. And then Istran has to slow down and get rid of it. But then I would play the Outcast and that would be in burn range. By playing Elder Outcast, nothing be, nothing is in burn range, so I'll do that. And with since you're gonna have four attack, I think I'd rather hit Nidal. Um, and I know you have. I'm gonna stay in formation like that. I know we get Solemn Giant, so I'm a little afraid of like a Solemn Giant. That's why I didn't want to leave my Elder open. But I am a little vulnerable to like a Storm Hunter Bombard Machinated here. Plays an elder of his own, which actually works well with my freak because I can get my freak to attack by just damaging his elder. So you have to be a little wary about playing elders when you're playing against a grave lock deck. Obviously not if you were playing a grave lock deck too, but if you're like a mono energy range deck that uses grave lock elders, elders, be hesitant to play one if you see a freak on the board. Against energy post resistance is pretty darn good, so I, I will keep that. Get rid of the smuggler at this point, and I guess I. I'm not gonna increase my energy. I think I'll just play a bunch of stuff, and I guess I'm just gonna. Maybe I could win soon. I don't know. Play the guard, and I could push this and see, or I could smuggler. Let's just potion. I'm gonna potion the elder in the back. I don't want him to get. I don't want him to get uh, violent dispersal. Hopefully, he gets violent dispersal anyway, so that uh, Istrion just wastes violent dispersal. I've seen that happen way too many times. People just click away, think it's gonna die, but then it does. I've I've made that mistake too. Oculus cannon bombard, I guess. Oh, another Oculus cannon. That's a pretty good. That's a that that hurts me quite a bit. I think I can. I think I'm okay though. Especially that I just drew another elder. Uh. Hmm. Now, playing another elder this turn doesn't really do much for my health values because you get to three, which would actually be good. I think I'd ra oh no, I can't even play this Uhu, never mind. I was gonna say. So let's just scratch that. Let's get out of uh let's get out of there. So that was actually that was a, that was a very uh, big turn for him. I could jumble up for a thunder surge. Yeah, you know, screw it, I'm gonna do it. Actually No, I'm not going to. Okay. 
So now that Elder's burnable this turn, hopefully he doesn't top deck a, a Bombard. He is top decking, he just has two scrolls, he had no idea what it was going to be. And he just pumps, and hopefully not a Val Dispersal on the front Elder. No, just a Dust Runner. Okay, nice. Now give me another Thunder Surge. Freak. No, I'd rather not. Oh, okay, now we got a Fury. Fury is pretty darn good. What can we do with a Fury? I can clear everything. I, I, there might be a big play I could do here with Fury and a Freak and all that stuff, but it's probably, it's probably wiser for me to just play Guard and then Fury. See, that's what I'm going to do. I am jumbling up a little bit with Thunder Surge though. Okay. Yeah, I am kind of jumbled for Thunder Surge, unfortunately. And I'll go like this. So that will take out everything except for those. These go down to one countdown. Probably won't be a big deal unless he has Furies of his own. He gets another Elder out. And a Psalm Giant. So at least he can't haste that this turn. I get a Mount Dispersal. But honestly, I think playing a freak of my own would just be even like a huge thing. Hmm. Actually, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. VD, VD, VD. You know, we're gonna get rid of the freak. Because I think a VD this turn is actually more important. Because as it stands now, I can't really play a Grey Block Freak without, without like being protected from the Psalm Giants or the Oculus Cannon. So that means I'm going to be hit by something, so I'd rather just bounce the source of the Psalm Giant. And I'll keep the burn. I like that. Once you're ahead, your removal is just amazing. And good, I got some other good stuff. So let's just... I guess I should just separate from uh, Thunder Surge. Hopefully it doesn't have a hasted giant to just screw me up. And I'll put down a raider. Actually, I'll put potion resistance on you so you can't get uh, destroyed by a violent dispersal. And now I can make a burn that Oculus can next turn. So things are looking pretty good. And I've yet to have to heal you. Right, so there's a burn on him. That's annoying because he was going to go off next turn, but I have still a little scrolls. So I probably wouldn't need the extra energy from him anyways. Oh, one thing I did by moving out of Thunder Surge here, uh, I did make myself a little vulnerable to a... No, I... I... If I stayed down here, I would have been able to move down easier and destroy the stuff down here. So if I start Cypher's Rules, draw Fury, I'd actually win. But I think it's better we just burn. Power Trip is good, but not not right now. Another burn. Well, let's take out Middle Idol. put you up here maybe I can take out another idol that turn and may as well just do that because you you won't even die as it stands from this oculus cannon and I'm destroying a five drop like you shouldn't always be afraid to move into an oculus cannon because honestly that was probably worth it for me I destroyed his five drop and my three drop doesn't even die as it stands and Right now, I would win next turn if this is uh, maybe he has a Stormrunner Bombard Mesh now, which I am 
pretty fine with it. I could just burn that next turn and it would only get rid of like grave locks that aren't as important. I have my elders staying alive. Okay, he, he was able to do that too. So that is actually pretty, pretty big. If I can get a machine into my own, I'll be able to win this turn. That is a win. Oh, he didn't machine it. I just noticed that. I thought I... Whoops. The bounce dispersal was enough damage to get rid of the elder thing. I mean, the bounce dispersal on the elder was enough to get rid of the outcast. So... I never actually got to use my plan of having the Ragged Wolf in the deck. I don't know. I still feel like it's probably not worth it. I'm probably a little crazy to do it. Maybe I'll just take it out. I don't know. But that'll be it for today. Sorry you guys are seeing more grave locks, but that's just what I want to play V is that's just winning and winning and winning. That's how I got right here again. So thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. Stay excited guys. Scrolls is coming around coming out right around the corner. I'll see you next time.